Amen. Praise God. Praise God. That's through that commercial in there, didn't it? Amen. <laughs> I do give honor to God who's the head of the house and the head of my life, to my pastor, first lady, and the deacons, and everyone that it takes to make up this congregation. Amen. Amen. That was on me this morning. My contest broke. My husband had to go find me some glasses. And uh, all my all messed up. I hope I can turn my pages. But you know what? It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Praise the name of Jesus, because it's with the purpose that I come. Amen? Amen? If you would stand with me and go to the scriptures. All right. And we're going to start at Matthew, the 13th chapter. It's kind of lengthy, because I'm, I'm going to be Take dealing with all these in here. But uh, let's go to the 13th chapter, starting at verse 1. And I think I'm going to read until... Okay, till we stop. Okay. All right. The word reads, amen? Everybody got it? Amen. It should be, okay. The word reads, the same day when Jesus, the same day when went Jesus out of the house and sat by the seaside, and a great multitude would gather together unto him so that he went into a ship and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore, and he spake many things unto them in a parable saying behold a sower went forth to sow and when he sowed some seeds they fell by the wayside and the fowls came and devoured them up some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth and forthwith they sprung up because they had no deepness of earth and when the sun was up they were scorched and because they had not root they withered away and some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But others fell onto good ground and brought forth fruit, some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. Who have ears to hear, let them hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto him, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Right. For whosoever hath, hath to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whoso hath not from him shall be taken away, even that he hath. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing, see not, and hearing, they hear not, neither, neither do they understand. In them is fulfilled, fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. For the people heart is wax grossed. And their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they are closed. Lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, their heart, and should be covered, and I should deal, heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things, which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. Hear ye therefore the parable of the sword. Mm -hmm. When any who hear the word of the kingdom understands it not, then cometh the wicked one, and catheth away that which was sown in the heart. This is which received seed by the wayside. Amen. I'm going to use as a topic a heart condition. Amen. Heart condition. Amen. Let Amen. us pray. Preach, preach, preach. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the, the Sunday after resurrection, yeah. God. Yeah. We thank you, Lord. Now it's time for us to go to work. Yes. And Lord, I pray that you, that those that have ears hear, those that can have eyes to be able to see the word this morning, Lord. Help me, Lord, as I go forth in the word. Hold me up, Lord, and hide me behind the cross of Calvary, for which all this came from. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I, I had forgot my, uh, you may be seated. I had forgot my, my niece's last name. And uh, that's why I say my niece and my nephew. But their elder, uh, Elaine Jefferson and Clarence, elder Clarence Jefferson. Amen. Amen. I thank God for them. They are such a blessing to us. Uh, my nephew works at the VA and he turned us on to a lot of things. I wanted Pastor to talk. <laughs> he already <laughs> I wanted Pastor to be able to talk to Clarence because Clarence know how how that the system works. He's been there for we need a while. To talk. Yes, Lord Jesus, we got to talk. Because <laughs> he has some issues. He's a uh, Navy, Amen. and so that's all VA. So, but anyway, we thank God for them. We thank Amen. God for for uh, our visitors, all our visitors. But we we sure to thank the woman of God that. Be on those keys, cause she yeah. really, uh, she really ushers in the spirit. We thank you, Sister Bonner and Brother Bonner. We thank you, cause y'all produce Brother Bonner, yeah. and we thank you for him, cause he's always, uh, he's always on the on the place. And we thank you all. But throughout this portion of the scripture, it, it was lengthy. But I, I, I had to read all that so that you could see the things that was going on there. See, a lot of times when we, um, as leaders, the Lord speaks a different way to us. You know, he speaks to all of us. But when we are, uh, are dealt a hand to be able to teach other folks the word of God, he goes into depth. Because you need to understand what you're saying to somebody. We yeah. talked about that in Sunday yeah. school this morning. We need to know. So the question that I have today, and it's an oldie buddy goodie, but the question I have today is, how is your heart? Oh, Amen. Heart. We have to know how our heart is. Now, we know about that fleshly part that beats supply the blood and the oxygen and if that doesn't work right we have ailments like high blood pressure we have uh neuropathy because we don't have the the nerves and everything is going and you don't have enough oxygen you have syncope and that means that you you're off balance and you fall out and you faint and all that stuff but when it's working good when that heart is working good the beat is on on point you know, it's not beating too fast. It's not beating too slow. You got a lot of energy. You're able to get up and go. I mean, you know, it's good. The same way is with the heart for God. The Bible says that he will take out the stony heart and put a soft, pliable heart within you. That heart is able to be, uh, what's the word I want to say? I don't want to say manipulated, but it can be fashioned to a heart that can receive. Just like in the, 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 the soil that went to sow the seeds. The ground was all different. And the ground all received the seed. But what happened to the seed depended on what the ground was. Yes, yes, Amen? Yes, yes, so yes. just like the physical heart is that, is that point of emotion. You know, sometimes we say, oh, I love you with all my heart. Do you really? Amen. We say that about God. We say that about people. But do you really? Yeah. Do you really? So the Bible tells us we must love God with our, all our heart, yeah. all our soul, right. and with all our mind. Right. Now do we do that, really? What condition is your heart? How's your heart this morning? Now there's a great deal of similarity between the physical heart and the spiritual heart. Let me show you. I was telling you about the physical heart supplying all of the, the oxygen and the blood that need to move around. Amen? A spiritual heart in good shape is the same way. It's full of life. Yes. Good morning. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. You know, when your heart is all right, yeah. mm -hmm. you got a smile on your face. Yeah. Yeah. The will of God is in your heart. Yeah. Yeah. But when that heart is sick, mm -hmm. when it's not right, when God has not penetrated that heart, that's what I, the word I was looking for. Mm -hmm. When it had not penetrated that heart, everything is like Isaiah said, lip service. Yeah. 
Yeah. You can practice it. You know how to act like church folks. Yeah. You know how to act like church folks. Well, I see children. Talk, talk to I see children that be talking and playing and everything, but when they pre preach and get that, uh, 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 they stand up and they look, and if the organ player hit it, then they think it's moving. Children. Yeah. yeah. Because they know when to do it. Yeah. yeah. So that's what happens when your heart is not right. Oh, okay. You know the protocol of the church. Mm -hmm. You know when to raise your hand. You know when to say hallelujah when the pastor say hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Now going to the text, I just want to talk about the heart condition mm -hmm. if that's alright this yes, morning. Yes, yes, now the opposite of a healthy heart, and I was telling you about it, the people start talking about different things. Their mind don't talk about the things of God when they leave here. They done forgot what the preacher said. Mm -hmm. What the, oh Lord, the service was good, but what did he talk about? See, I, I, I got a friend that calls me every Sunday want to know what the sermon was about. I try to tell him, I say, you know what, it'd be nice if you come sometime. But if you can't come, we on YouTube. We on pastor's page. But don't ask me what, the, what it was about. I know what it was about, but don't you ask me. And a lot of people come in here and they listening to you and they do not remember anything that the service is about. Amen. They don't remember. See, you got stuff like congested heart thing that come to that fleshly heart. Don't you know the spiritual heart can have congestion? Yeah. Failure? Yeah. Help us. You done stood all week long with the folks at work. Mm -hmm. You done listened to everything they said at work. You done been at the water cooler too many times and heard what they planning to do to the boss. Oh, y'all done got a coup together because y'all finna mess some things up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should have got that position. Yeah. You know you should have got it. Now, your heart is congested because you've taken all that stuff in yeah. and you have not one time said, but the Lord will work it out. Yeah. Preach, preach, yeah. preach, preach. preach, preach. See, when the heart isn't working right, you can say, well, the Lord can work it out. And you mean it. Amen. You mean it because you're not going to let the ear gates. Folks that have an ear, let them hear. You ain't going to let the ear gates get congested to the heart because you don't want to hear it. When you start hearing them going that way, move. Move because you know the will of God is not for you to gossip. Amen. All right. Amen. You didn't say gossip. It says gospel, yeah, yeah. not gossip. Yeah. Amen. It's spelled different. Mm -hmm. So these things are help that that heart, because there are many who suffer from heart disease. Mm. Sometimes the disease will lead to help to death. But I believe the parallel between the physical heart and the spiritual heart is becoming obvious to you, isn't it? Yeah. 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 When our hearts are not right, God, we will lose our vitality. Yes. That glow yes. that you had. Yes. I know when you first found Christ, that glow was all on you. People said, what's wrong? There's something different about you. I found the Lord. Amen. Oh, Amen. I went to the revival and girl, look a here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't say, uh, you know, that's all you talk about. It's the Lord. Yes. That heart has been manipulated, it's been penetrated, and yes. you hear God. Yes. You're like that, that, the good seed. So let me start talking about this. Let me get right here. Now, a, a good indication of a condition of your heart is how you respond to the gospel when you hear it. Yeah. It's God's EKG. Yeah. And right. if EKG is electrocardiogram, okay. you know about them, don't you? <laughs> they put them on your heart and they can tell how your heart is beating. Yeah. Yeah. So when God does this electrocardiogram, it shows a condition of your heart spiritually. Okay, and when we need to take note to verse 9, when Jesus said, who have an ear to hear, let him hear. Yes. Whether or not you're hearing and receiving what God has to say to you is a measure of your heart condition. Yes. Yes. Amen? Amen? In this parable, Jesus defined four specific heart conditions. Mm -hmm. Now, I know y'all heard the sermon over and over and over and over. They talk about the seed, but let me, let me run it with the heart, okay? 
the first condition in verse 19, it said, when anyone hear the word of the kingdom and understand it is not, then come the wicked one and catches away that which was sown in the heart. Right. This is one that receives the seed by the wayside. Mm -hmm. That's the first heart condition. It's a receptive heart. It, it receives the word, that's right, that's but, right. it, but the word doesn't penetrate the heart. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Now that's the first ground. Mm -hmm. It's like, the, the, like when the word comes, mm -hmm. the birds come and steal it away. Yeah. You'd walk out this door, oh, we had a good time talking about the heart condition. Somebody stopped you right there, girl, let's go down here to the club tonight because so and so are popping, it's going off at 11 o'clock. <laughs> you don't forget about what you heard. Mm -hmm. That's the first heart condition. Amen? Mm -hmm. yeah. Now verse 23 that I didn't read, it says that he that received the seed is in good ground is the one who hears God's word and understands it and bears forth fruit. Yes. Yes. 60 and some 30. This is a heart that receives the word of God and it is a prepared heart. God has dug up the ground. It doesn't have that stony heart and well he's dug it up and the person has grasped the message yes. of the good news yeah. and have bore for fruit. Yeah. Yeah. To understand if the heart has received the word of God, there's got to be some fruit bearing. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yes. You can't be like the fig tree perpetrating the truth. Fig me got all kind of leaves on which yes, says yes, that I'm full yes, of fruit. Yes, yes, but that's, yes. that's perpetrating a fraud. Amen. Mm. Amen. That's that person running around with that Bible in the window. Mm. And the level done creaked up. <laughs> the pages and them fortified. That's the person that's perpetrating the, the truth. You can't be like that. When our hearts are prepared and, and the word is really received, it's proof and the fruit that is bears. Yeah. Do you believe that? Or does that make sense? Amen. The Bible says that ye shall know them by the fruit that they yeah. bear. Right. It's the right. word of God. That's right. It's the word of God. You can't tell me it's an apple tree. Mm. Amen. You can't tell me you're no apple tree and I'm falling behind your parents falling off of mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just just to be true. You say you're a Christian, but every word out of your mouth yeah. is uh, four letters. Yeah. Come on, Christian. Mm. Have mercy. I mean, you, you, all your adverbs got action to them. <laughs> you cannot tell me that you are a Christian and you're bearing fruit. Amen. Jesus made it plain. You have to have a receptive heart, and you, if you're not receptive to God, true. There should be something is wrong if you don't have no fruit. Oh. And say that you're saved. Come on now. Oh. Come on now. There is some proof in the pudding. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Now the second heart is a is a crowded heart. Right. And that's the one that received the seed among the thorns. And here's the word, but the cares of the world and the scepters of the riches choked the word and he right. became unfruitful. This is a person that's preoccupied. I'm thinking about my dinner I'm going to cook when I get home. Mm. I got the ham hocks, so I cooked them last night. <laughs> but do you know that God has blessed you to have that food? Amen. You're thinking about what you're going to eat when you get home, mm. and you can't even hear the word of God as it go through preoccupied. Mm. But as soon as the bill is due, they can't, they can't pay it. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. But the preacher has told you how to overcome it. Amen. But you didn't hear it because you were worried about something else. Amen. Talk Preoccupied. Talk they get the pink slips going around the office. You just unheard it. They ain't talking about your division. They talking about it, the folks in the basement. But you heard part of it because your mind is somewhere else. Mm. What's that song, Pastor? I'm going to get secular in a minute. Your body's here with me, but your mind... Okay. Look, somebody's shaking their head. But your mind is on the other side of town. Fooling around. Come on, y'all. Y'all heard it. Yeah. <laughs> you done heard it, Preacher. I know y'all heard it. 
Y'all heard the song. That's what I'm talking about when the word of God go forth. You're here, but your mind is somewhere else. You're going to miss something. You're going to miss something. And it ain't always got to be a uh, ooh, ooh. It ain't got That's to be right. that. That's the right. word go forth in plain language. Yeah. Yeah. In plain language. You can hear it. Mm -hmm. See, all those things, they choke the word out of you. Yes. On one hand, they have chosen to follow Jesus. And on the other hand, they're too preoccupied with what they can get and what they need. They become unfruitful. Just telling you, the whole conditions, now I'm going to be through it in a minute. And uh, their life is full of thorns. They're deceiving themselves and they're deceiving others. And they do it, and, the, and then when you start pulling out the weeds that are visible to everybody around you, but there's some deep-rooted sin Amen. in your life. That's deep-rooted that you can't get out for yourself. you got to have God. Amen. And you got to have that, that heart that's pliable. Amen. One that he can reach into and get it out. Because there's too many things that's going on. There's many who hear the gospel and receive the word. They want their sins forgiven, but they want to go to heaven. Then the problem comes along because of their confession of faith. First thing they want to do is throw in the towel. Mm -hmm. and when the pink slip come, they done forgot the Lord said, I will provide all your needs according to the riches and glory through Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. the, the, the job is just a source. Yeah. It's an avenue that I'm using at this time. Mm -hmm. But I've told you that I got you. Yes. But soon as some stuff come up, uh -huh. that's a shallow, that's a shallow heart. That's a heart that nothing, I've heard it, I've been to Bible study, I go to church every Sunday, but soon as adversity comes, you forget everything. Mm. That's because you're not rooted. Yeah. Yeah. And it got rooted in the heart. You're still sitting around there with that little faith. And they, didn't, and they say, well, okay, I didn't sign up for this. Mm -hmm. I ain't signed for this. They said once you come to the Lord, you know, you bring your tithes and offer, you got all the money, you need some 3100 and, and he gonna multiply it and he gonna do all of this and, and you do it, but the, you have to read the whole thing. Yes. You got to read the whole thing. Yes! yes. It'll be pressed down. Yes. Shaking up or whatever you're saying, rolling over. <laughs> but this is not a bank. Right. <laughs> See, when I think about when this arm ain't hurt. Mm -hmm. Last week, it wasn't hurting. Mm -hmm. That was a blessing. Amen. Amen. That's a blessing. Yeah. I ain't had to go to the doctor for it. That's a blessing. Mm -hmm. When you can drive down your street, you don't have to get a tire. Yeah. That's a blessing. Yeah. 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 Oh, I can't afford to tie. You can't afford not to tie. Mm -hmm. And once your heart is right, then it, it, it becomes a win. And then the fourth is, and I'm about finished. And the fourth heart, I made it last intentionally. It said, when anyone hear the word of God, and we hear the word of the kingdom, and understand it not, then come the wicked one and catches away that which was sown in the heart. This, this is he which received the word by the wayside. This is an unresponsive heart condition. Mm -hmm. This person hears the word of God, and it just roll over. Mm -hmm. And they're conscious, they understand it. They understand it like the third heart, is a shallow heart. This person, this heart, it just rolls over. They ain't heard nothing. Mm -hmm. They ain't want to hear nothing. And and as a responsibility, they not only hear the word of the Lord, they but mindful of the word of the Lord, but their senses are gone. Mm -hmm. They have no sense. Mm -hmm. But if they ever just come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ, you come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ, and you have your heart ready to receive the word of God. Mm -hmm. You have to be ready to receive the word of God. But the Bible said that you can't come to him unless he draw you. Yeah. I'm here today to tell you that your heart has to be in the right condition. I don't, I don't care where you live, how much money you got, what kind of car you drive. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Because blessed is he that loveth the Lord. Because if you love God, he got everything you need. 
Don't you know some of them folks riding in them business got so much trouble, they scared somebody gonna scratch it. That's a trouble right there. You know, it's nice to have God. I, I'm not saying God can't bless you. He bless you any way you want to, but don't make that your God. Amen. Watch your heart. Yes. Watch your heart. Watch your heart condition. Right. Get a checkup. Yes. Come to Bible study. Yes. Sometimes we get so sick in the spirit. Yes. Our nose is running. Yes. Our heads are stopped up. You can't even hear the word of God. But come and get a purging sometime. Amen. Come and hear the preacher talk about your heart sometime. Yes. Yes. Come tell about your ears hearing. Not only hearing, but doing yes. what the word of God says. It's all in your heart. Amen. Your heart got to be in the right way. It's got to be the right way. You know, we can, we can sit up and watch a movie, a four-hour long movie. Don't <laughs> nod our head not one time. Talk, 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 preacher. <laughs> Because every time the, the, the when the commercials come on, if you got the, the, the DVR, you want to pass it for the commercial. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying yeah. to get to this movie. Yeah. But when you get to church, your head rocking the real because you ain't hearing what you what you want to hear. You talk, but I'm just saying today, your heart got to be right. Don't miss it. Because if you sleep on it, you're going to miss it. Now, when you get to church, when you get to work tomorrow, those of you at work, you know, I, I pay my dues. Up. <laughs> but those of you that work, <laughs> when that mess comes in your face, dismiss it. Amen. Tell them about God. Yes. You, know, you know, a lot of times we got the, they say don't, don't reel and rock, and you know, we don't want to rock nobody's world. Turn that world upside down. That's right. That's what Jesus did. That's right. When it got too bad for him, I love, I mean, I love Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. He radical, just like me. <laughs> I mean, when things ain't right, you, you, turn, the, you turn it over. Yeah. Turn it over. You ain't got to have friends. No. See, that's a, that's a problem with people. They try to fit in. Yeah. Don't fit in, stand out. Amen. Don't fit in, stand out, because that's what it's all about. And, it, and, it, and, it, and your heart will, will show who you are. Amen. Because even my mom used to say a drunk, a drunk man speaks a sober heart. Because yeah. he get drunk enough and say, well, I'm sorry, you know, uh, I was drunk. But now he's speaking what he wanted to say when he was sober. <laughs> so if you go to sleep with the right heart, and your heart is right, you're going to speak the right thing. Because Jesus died. We, 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 we uh, talked about that Sunday. He died. He died. And he rose again. He rose again that we may have a right to the tree of life. And we got to have our hearts ready for Jesus. But one thing I do know, he's coming back again. And if that heart ain't right, I'm sorry. It's going to be some left folks. And don't say that. I didn't tell you about it. See, so Elder one just told me about my heart, but I just wouldn't change. So, I hope that helps somebody. Help somebody. Check your heart out now. Get that spiritual EKG. Amen. Praise God. Now, come on, give God praise. Amen. Amen. Come on, give God some praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I don't know if you know, but that's a good teaching this morning. Amen. 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 We're all standing all over the building. Amen. For those of you that have been sharing with us this morning, we thank you again for viewing us. And I pray that this message has blessed you tremendously. Listen, check your heart condition. Amen. Check your heart condition. See how it is beating. Amen. And this word. I pray that this word this morning has fallen on fertile and, and, and good ground. Amen. That you can yield a profitable fruit for the kingdom of God. We thank you so much for sharing with us. We invite you back here this coming Wednesday for our Wednesday night Bible study. And if you can't make it Wednesday, we certainly do invite you right back here. Next week, the Lord say the same for our 11 a.m. worship service. We appreciate you so, so very much. I pray that you have a prosperous, productive, and power-filled day. And always remember to fully rely on God.